Hello everyone, and welcome to our special edition of Just Talk, honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Legacy, what comes to mind when you think of the word legacy? Legacy is about life and living, but it's also about the imprint that we leave behind for generations to come. It's about learning from the past, living in the present, and building for the future. In the words of Dr. King, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Today, we're gonna to talk about the legacy of Dr. King from some of our community leaders and how Dr. King's legacy has impacted their life, but not only that, what they're doing for others to leave a genuine legacy behind. Tune in. One way that the city of Conway is honoring Dr. King's legacy is with the construction of the MLK Park. Not only will we honor the legacy of Dr. King, but we also honor the legacy of many of our local heroes and uh, local leaders in the African-American community here in Conway. It should be completed by the year 2022, which is this year, so we're looking very forward to that. Uh, Dr. King never chose fear. He chose determination, love, and courage. My wife asked my uh, oldest granddaughter the other day, they are studying Dr. King at school. She said, what have you learned about Dr. King? She said, Dr. King changed the world with love and not his fist. Now that came from the, the, the mind and the mouth of an eight year old. But to me, it speaks volumes of the legacy that Dr. King left. Thank you. The thing when I think of Martin Luther King Jr. is I think of peace, I think of integrity, I think of honor, and I think of service. Those are the things that are important to me. By being elected as the first African American on Conway City Council, I feel like that that somehow to most people will be a legacy. The thing that I would want remembered from that is not so much being the first, but the service that I brought with being the first. It's always great to be the first at something, but it's not so much if you're not good at what you do. And I would like to think that the legacy that I would leave behind would be just like what Martin Luther King left behind, a legacy of service, a legacy of integrity, a, le a legacy of serving people, but most of all, doing it in the proper way and also promoting peace. So when you think of me and what I would like my grandchildren to think about is that their Gigi was one of the ones that left the legacy of service, that left the legacy of peace, but most of all, she left the legacy of doing what she loved, which is serving my community. When I think about the, the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, um, there are a couple of things that, uh, that, that I try to take away from his life and his, his ministry, his legacy. Uh, the first uh, is that of servant leadership. Um, uh, Dr. King gave his life serving others. Uh, that, was his, that was his life, that was his calling, that was his ministry. Um, and that is the philosophy to which I ascribe. Um, and that is to try to put others first. And when we do that, when we put others first, um, we make a difference uh, in our families. Uh, and if we can make a difference in our family, uh, we can make a difference in our community. And if we can make a difference in our community, uh, we can make a difference in our state. And if we make a difference in our state, we most certainly can make a difference uh, in this country. And so the first and foremost uh, for me was that of servant leadership. The second takeaway for me, and, uh, as a long time educator, long, long time educator, is uh, the fact that Martin Luther King promoted education. Uh, there's a lot of ignorance out here. I never thought I'd live to see the day where uh, there were alternative facts, so that uh, truth was not as important, that medical science was not as important, and uh, we have to con continue to promote um, uh, education. I, I distinctly remember one quote that Dr. King made uh, uh, in regards to education, and that was, uh, he said, the most dangerous thing in the world is that of uh, sincere stupidity or conscious 
ignorance. I may have that reversed. Um, and, I, and that's where I think uh, we find ourselves today. We have, we have to work on that. And I think education is certainly a difference maker. Uh, in terms of the special recognition that, that, uh, that I received from uh, the members of the University Board of Trustees and President Davis, um, I can tell you right now, it's the most humbling experience I've ever had is, to, is for uh, someone to value your work uh, in, in such a way that they're willing to place your name, attach your name to a building. Uh, I am hum humbled, I most certainly am blessed uh, to have been alive to see uh, that uh, come to fruition. And so I am so thankful and blessed and, and um, uh, to have been a part of such a wonderful uh, institution uh, as the uh, University of Central Arkansas. As we celebrate this Dr. Martin Luther King Day, I like to reflect on the legacy that he has not only left for America, but the legacy that he has left in my personal life. As someone who has read the books, read the poems, read the uh, many speeches that he's written, I consider myself to be a student of the legacy that he's left. I've always wanted to be very involved in my community. I consider myself a man of faith and somebody who takes pride in taking care of his family. I think that Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy is one that has grown over time. I feel like it's not one just for black Americans, but I feel like it is one for all Americans that we can learn to be a good steward over our community and constantly work to make racial inequity and just our communities a better place. So I'd like to challenge you this Dr. Martin Luther King Day to go out into your communities, to network and talk to your neighbors and see what part you can play to make your community better. Um, in all things, in every way that we look back, we all can serve so we all can be better people. What Dr. King's legacy truly means to me, it was certainly a door opener um, for me into corporate America for companies that are looking uh, for diversity, uh, companies who serve the community or looking for people who look like the community. Uh, that was certainly a, a, an opener, a door opener for myself. Um, however, as we all know, um, in corporate America, the climb is very slow. Um, we often talk about the glass ceiling um, for women of color. Um, some have broke that ceiling and some are still reaching. I've been very fortunate uh, over the years in corporate America uh, to be a part of management. Um, I started out in the 80s in a management training program and that um, set my course. Um, in the career that I am in. Uh, I'm a banker, that is what I do. And what I try to do in my role is help those who really don't know a whole lot about banking, budgeting, and money management. I've tried to use my platform um, to help students um, at, uh, in school. Um, and, and in college um, to help them to set their course, their life's course. A lot of, of us are not taught um, how to manage our income. We're taught a lot of things in school, but the goal is that when we leave college, the intent is we're gonna make a lot of money and it's important for us to know how to budget that money. Um, and I've tried to use that knowledge that I have and I've gained over the years to help them, not just in budgeting, but banking in general, how to get a loan. Um, I think that's all important. Um, for me and my family, we have been so fortunate to live in the community of the city of Conway. Um, I'm born and raised here and it has been easy for us to build uh, our own legacy for our children. My husband and I are, um, we own properties. We are investors in our community. We've invested a lot in our community. We're a business owner. And I think what I'm most proud of 
than anything is our service to our community. Um, for the past 14 years, I want to say, he and I have devoted ourselves to education uh, with the Pine Street Backpack Program. Um, it started out just serving um, in the community where we are stakeholders, um, just sharing in that neighborhood. And we found out that we were collabor we began to collaborate with uh, an individual who was doing virtually the same thing. And it became bigger than life. And what I am most proud of is, it's not just he and I uh, and our team that make it happen, but it's the community and how they have come together to help us to serve on average a thousand kids per year. So if I were to sum it up, Dr. King has truly um, impacted my life greatly, um, to say the least, and I would hope that what I am doing here and now while I'm on this earth is leaving a legacy for someone else that so that they can flourish and they can grow and they too can make an impact. My name is Bishop Frank Anderson, Jr. I'm the, the Bishop of the Second Jurisdiction of Arkansas, Church of God in Christ. I'm embarking upon 60 years in ministry, 52 years as a pastor of the New Zion Temple Church of God in Christ here in the city of Conway, Arkansas. I certainly embrace the ideas of Dr. King's legacy, including the goals of working to achieve rights for all people through nonviolence protests. His visions of equality for all people in America and throughout the world, especially people of color, is still a goal that we continue to work for to watch every day. Through many hardships and sacrifice, he dared to dream. What many thoughts thought was impossible became a reality and has continued to unfold even today. While we celebrate this holiday, we remember that Dr. King and many leaders during the American Civil Rights Movement of the 60s developed the blueprint that these ideas, even today, is uncomfortable to a lot of people. Dr. King's generation created an infinite time timeline for humanity to wake up and realize the struggle for equality is still going on. And while we today, our future generation, continue to do our part. One of my goals as a spiritual leader has been to continue to encourage our youth of today and the future generation to learn and acknowledge our past while continuing to work for tomorrow. I want to challenge our young people by encouraging you to do everything within your power to make a difference in the world that we're living in. Through positive contributions to our community, spiritually, especially socially, politically, educationally, and economically. You can also dream and dare to make a difference for a better world. You said, how do we do this? Well, we get out and vote, stay abreast and involved with the community. Be actively involved in your local church and the religious community, which is woven deeply into the fabric of our society and world, embracing the spiritual importance and the needs of the people and the families is very significant. As Dr. King himself being a Baptist minister, and he was a family man, Dr. King's legacy of leadership, devotion to God, love for humanity, courage and determination is an inheritance that we all learn from as we celebrate this day. And we recognize the great man, and we recognize his philosophy. His divine dream is unforgettable and was unquestionably prophetic. And we continue through the decades, even in the 26th, 21st century, that we give growth to all the things that we are now facing. 
each year during the month of January, it gives us an opportunity to reflect, to focus, and dedicate our lives to making a difference as person united for freedom and equality. So I close with a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King, which simply states this, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. Whatever your life work is, do it well. A man should do his job so well that the living, the dead, and the unborn could not do it no better. Before us lies the timber. Let us build and be careful what you build. We've heard from some of our community leaders of how the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King has impacted their lives and how they are choosing to leave a legacy behind. You too can leave a legacy for generations to come. Remember, as we honor the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., that today is a day on, not a day off. Find some way to impact your community because we all produce change one step, one moment at a time.